Get them, spin them, but lunch in my shoe and the denim. I put the records on them. Big bands can't bend them. Ops, we hit them. Fuck them off. What's up, divas and divos? Hey, everybody. Hi. Oh, my God. Great to see you. What's up? Girl is back with an Amazon Prime video. So what's up, you guys? I hope you guys had a great week, weekend, whatever it is, day I post this video up. You know what I'm saying? I hope you guys is feeling good, looking good, looking cute. No bad vibes. No bad vibes, okay? No toxic vibes here. My voice is back to its normal self, thank goodness. And a girl got on some press-on nails, okay? I've had these actually on for, today makes three days. These are by Kiss. I got them from Walgreens for, I think it was like $9. It's the jelly ones. So they're the stiletto ones. I like them. At first, I did not like them. Let me tell you, girl. One, these can be very dangerous. Like, when I tell you very dangerous, you can jab your own eye out with this, let alone somebody else's. You're being a bit dramatic right now. The day that I put these on, I had jabbed myself enough times, let alone my grandson while running my fingers through his hair. So these are very dangerous. It seems like after, like, a day or two of wear, they kind of dulled down on the tips because they were super sharp when I first put them on, even after buffing them down. It's gonna be a problem. Keep that in mind, the first day or two, it's very dangerous, so you know, make sure that you move with caution, okay? Okay. I like them, I've gotten used to them for three days. I'm not really sure when I'm gonna pop them off, but I did see some on Amazon that I'm gonna buy, and I'm gonna do my nails. So a girl will be coming on here looking real fancy and stuff. <laughs> We're just gonna pop into this video real quick. I've worked with this company numerous of times. They are well known on Amazon, which is Icy Hair. They have some really cute units, very affordable, and you can also check out their actual official website, okay? When I say affordable hair, I'm talking about get your wallet out, girl, get you a wig and look cute, okay? Budget friendly hair. And if you like Amazon, like I do, like I say, Amazon Prime, get your shit on time. And if you don't like it, you can return it without no problem. Okay. Well, I'd be lying if I said no problems. That's what I was thinking. If you like cut the lace off and bleach it and do some stuff to it, don't think you can return it because it's not happening. But if you just get it and you look at it and you don't like it, you could definitely return it because you know Amazon. So the wig that I got is an 18 inch unit. It's a lace frontal transparent lace 13 by 6. I went ahead and sewed in the elastic band. Yes, your girl sewed this in. It comes with the standard combs. I'm loving these anchor combs right about now because it'll keep your wig from slipping back. So that way you don't think you're looking cute when you're really not and your wig is slipping back and you are out there smiling out in the streets. You know, you know them streets be talking, you smiling and profiling and your wig is slipping back and everybody's looking at you total opposite than what you want them to. And also has an adjustable strap and comb in the nape area. This is the transparent lace. And of course I did bleach it. And I pre-plucked it, and then I styled it, and I gave myself a middle part. I'm just hoping that the middle part is in the middle and not, like, off to the side somewhere. Because if it is, that's where it's going to stay. And then I just curled it with that new flat iron slash curler, whatever you want to call it, that I got from Amazon. But just in case the lace don't work out for me, I do have my Even New York on standby. And yeah, I'm going to show you how, it's, how your wig comes, so that way we can get on to this video. <laughs> When you receive your unit from Icy Hair, you receive it in their standard black box. You'll also receive in your package one of the Icy Hair's custom cards. Icy Hair will also provide you a two-piece pack wig cap set which will protect your hair from your unit. The unit that I received is an 18 inch, 13 by four transparent lace frontal. The density is 150% in volume and is a Brazilian virgin straight hair texture. IC Hair has many different units to choose from, and you can check their Amazon store, their AliExpress store, along with that, their official website. As you can tell from the straight hair, the ends look very healthy.
I see here also provides many different coupon codes on their official website and they do provide fast shipping. As you can tell, you will need to bleach the knots of your unit if you prefer a more scalp-like appearance. I went ahead and used a 30 volume developer along with my bleach and allowed it to sit on the lace for about 45 minutes prior to rinsing. The front portion of the unit has been pre-blucked for you. This unit comes in many different lengths. Make sure you check out Icy Hair as they have many affordable units. I'll provide their information below. Let's get into this video real quick. Alright guys, so as you guys already know, this is my normal cutting the lace. I'm kind of doing it in a snipping type of way because I don't want to do a blunt cut across. So that is the reason why I'm more or less snipping at it as I go across. So that way it's just not a blunt straight cut. I found that this method is a lot easier for me versus using a eyebrow trimmer or any type of razor. And yes, I am removing some of the little bit of hairs of the hairline, but I'm not worried about that because I already pre-plucked the hairline myself. And I'm just going to go ahead and repeat that on the opposite side. Now, because the unit is a little bit too big, overlapping my ear, I went ahead and made that small little part and I'm just going to snip off that. It definitely makes a huge difference in allowing your wig to lay flat. And in order for me to adhere my wig, I do like to make a part across the front of the hairline. You can also use this part to make wispy hairs or baby hairs. Had to have a little loose up right. So for this particular one, I'm just going to spray on the inside at the ends and then I'm going to take my Got To Be Glam Force hairspray and I'm going to spray in between the part that I made on the top of the lace. Either method will hold your unit down, but you will need to make sure that you have a blow dryer on hand. If you do not have a blow dryer, please make sure not to spray in long sections as you see me do. You will need to spray in small sections at a time and allow the unit to dry. This hairspray by got to be is a super fast drying hairspray. And once you've repeated that step on the opposite side, it is now time to cut those hairs into either wispies, baby hairs, or sideburn hairs as you see me doing right now. In order to lay my sideburn hairs down, I do like to spray a hairspray onto my toothbrush. But you can use any method that works well for you. Along with that, I do like to apply some type of styling mousse. This one I did purchase at the Dollar Tree as I've been using it for years. And girl, let me tell you, it works perfectly fine. And as you guys can see, the lace is somewhat very transparent and easy to blend. And I'm just going to make sure that my hairs are dried well by using my blow dryer. And now it's time to style this baby. Even though I already did it off camera. Girl, I'm about to look really cute in this. Okay, because it's a cheap wig and she cute though. I'm just saying. Hello. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. All right, you guys. All right. This was super easy, like y'all would say. Dumb easy, girl. Look at how I'm using my hands because I got on these press on. So. Better not fly off, okay? Like, seriously, I'm feeling cute. Hey. I see hair, okay? Amazon Prime, girl, get you a wig on time. This wig actually looks really nice. It blended really good, you know what I'm saying? Like, I didn't have any qualms about it or problems or issues. I didn't have to use my tinting spray because I don't really like to do too much. And it's 18 inches, so it's average density. I think it's like 150 
or something like that. I'll definitely link everything below for you guys. Perfect density, especially if you want it to look as natural as possible. On a scale of one to 10, how would I rate this? Especially because it's a low price. I definitely would give this like a nine and a half. I'll give it a nine and a half because if it's a 10, then I wouldn't have to pre-pluck it. Ooh. <laughs> Is that shade? <laughs> or bleach it. This will definitely get a nine and a half because for one, it's affordable. I know you girls still like to look cute out there, okay, on a budget. Like, we didn't got to spend too much money. As long as we arts and crafty, okay, and we could work through some things and work around some stuff and make it blend and lay and look cute and slay. Girl, get you a budget-friendly wig. Hi. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. The luster on this is great. It's not too much shininess. I can't stand when they like overly shiny. Then everything is beaming off my head. Like I don't really like it when it's too shiny. Yeah, girl. Me too. And y'all know I have a long head. Some of y'all might be really nice right now and be like, girl, you got no long head. <laughs> <laughs> Next question. <laughs> Listen, I already know this. I don't need you to tell me that I don't or to tell me that I do. I know that I do. That's why I don't really wear or rock too many middle parts. But I'm saying this one looking cute, girl. Like this is looking really fancy. Okay. I like this. 18 inches. This is a decent length. Though I do like curly and wavy long, like 24. Because it's this long and wavy, you could just be cute like a mermaid that just got out the water. Oh, honey, I am gone with the wind. Fabulous. But when it's like body wave or straight, I really prefer it to be like 18, 20 inches. Once it gets like longer than that, it seems to me like it uses loses its volume, you know, just like lays there. Definitely want to check out Icy Hair. I will post their Amazon down below along with their official website. They got loads of wigs, you guys. I've done plenty of wigs for them, plenty of videos. They are on my budget-friendly wig list, you know what I'm saying? Because I do have high-end, budget-friendly, and middle. And these are definitely budget-friendly wigs. Girl, you can still look cute on a budget. Like, don't let nobody tell you different, okay? Okay. They always got coupon codes on their website and all that good stuff. So make sure you follow them on their social media. And when they, you know, dropping some new hits, like, you know, like like they rapping and stuff but you know drop us some new wigs and stuff and sales and yeah let me know what you think i curled this super easy i just took my wand curl wrapped it around and twisted as i went around and just left the top straight because i was trying to do something totally different but look at the edges like girl hello edges are laid i love you guys make sure you make sure you rate comment subscribe thumbs the video up let me know what you think of this amazon wig you know i like to bring you guys the most affordable wigs possible i love you make sure you rate comment subscribe share the video and i'll see you guys on the next one bye 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 Get them, spin them, unless I'm not the denim. I put the records on them. Big bands can't bend them. Ops, we hit them. Fuck them off, we bend them.